Some final thoughts now. The deep blue future of this republic. It is time to read and interpret and understand the reality of the electoral map among these 50 states. It is turning blue. Believe it or not, it was only 30 years ago that California voted for a Republican candidate for president, George Herbert Walker Bush. Yes, California went for Bush. Today, it's a waste of time for a Republican candidate for president to even set foot in the Golden State. Same for Illinois, same for New York. But it's the states in between that are now painting the political color of this country. Look at Nevada. It was red. Now it's purple turning blue. Arizona, same thing. Virginia, the old Dominion state, was red. Today it's blue. How about the Sunshine State? The post-election struggle there is the byproduct of a once red state that is in the process of turning blue. The only remaining electoral firewall for the GOP is Texas. But look at the reality in the Lone Star State. Look at the close call for Ted Cruz. The Democrats are working hard to paint Texas blue, too. And you know what? Thanks to the recent patterns of both legal and illegal immigration, they might just succeed in Texas. So where will that leave constitutional America? Well, I guess it'll be just like living in California. It will be one attack on the founding document after another, as this once liberty-based republic is strategically colored deeper and deeper Democrat blue. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube, and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.